tracking. The tropics and the calendar says today is the peak of hurricane season and there is a lot happening in the tropics. First alert meteorologist Kate Wenzel here with more on that and what you need to know if you're heading out tonight. Kate. That's right, John. Typically this time of year, we do have plenty to talk about in the tropics. And uh, closest to home, we have Hurricane Lee. That is a very well-developed hurricane. We're also watching Tropical Storm Margo that's gaining strength. And then we have two waves way out in the Atlantic. This one has a 20% chance of developing in seven days, and this one a 40%. But let's dig into the details of Hurricane Lee. As of 5 p.m., max winds at 120 miles per hour. So it is a cat three, but it is expected to strengthen to a cat four uh, by m early Monday. And then you can see by Wednesday uh, back down to a cat three. And then it's really going to accelerate northward. As you can see Thursday, it's about parallel would say uh, just north of the space coast. And then by Friday in just a day's time, it's parallel with the outer banks of North Carolina. But you can see it's safely away from us. So right now, all of the models indicate that it's not going to be a storm for the U.S. The only thing the U.S. will feel is some uh, beach erosion, some dangerous surf and rip currents as well across certain beaches across the Atlantic coast. Now, spaghetti models have this moving towards Halifax in Canada, so we'll have to watch it to see if it makes it all that way up there. Now, Margot is in the middle of the Atlantic, and she's headed just about straight north and expected to stay a cat one. So Margot will not impact us.